Welcome back. Advocate Iris Rodriguez has charged the Goa government of spending almost 25 lakh rupees on a stall in an exhibition organized by the BJP ruled states at Madurai in Tamil Nadu. Iris says that it is nothing but a waste of public money and gross misuse of power. Iris has threatened that he will file a complaint against Manohar Parikar with Loka Yukta once the Loka Yukta is appointed. Advocate Iris Rodriguez has revealed that Goa government has spent around 25 lakh rupees from its kitty for a two-day BJP exhibition Kamal Sangamam held at Madurai on April 28th and 29th. Have a look at a note with a remark approved, signed by Chief Minister Manohar Parikar. Interestingly, it is not known from where that two-page note reached the Chief Minister. That note does not indicate the address of the sender, neither was the unsigned note addressed to anyone. Similarly, no government official signatures were seen before it could reach the CM. Now have a look at this. The Director of Information by a letter dated 23rd April invited questions that were to be submitted by 25th April by the four empaneled event management agencies on setting up a Goa stall at the BJP exhibition scheduled at Madurai on April 28th and 29th. Interestingly, amongst the four agencies invited to put up the Goa stall at the BJP exhibition was Goa communication system owned by Congress leader Milan Berman. The documents revealed that on April 26th, just 48 hours to go for the BJP exhibition at Madurai, the Director of Information proposed in his note that as there was no time left, the bid by CN Ed event of 25 lakh rupees be accepted. On April 27th, the eve of Madurai exhibition, the file was sent to the Chief Minister for his approval, which was seen by Mr. Manohar Parikar only on 13th May, that is when Code of Conduct was in force and after the 25 lakh expenditure on the BJP exhibition was already incurred. It is now clear from all the documents received that uh, this government has squandered 25 lakhs of public money on the exhibition held by the BJP at Madurai. Public funds cannot be spent on uh, political functions or in funding anything that is organized by a political party. Hmm. So this case is a clear case that the uh, government has abused its power and it is an, a case of maladministration. As soon as the Lok Ayukta is set up, a complaint against Chief Minister Manor Parikar will be filed before the Lok Ayukta. Meanwhile, CM Manohar Parikar has refused to comment on the issue. As per the sources, exhibition had a stall of Goa government, not of BJP. Exhibition had stalls from other state governments. Participated in exhibition to attract investors. Our reporter Lokik Shilkar for Prudent Media. Verma is back with her exclusive bridal show in Goa. It is scheduled on 12th June at Park Hayat in Arusi. National and international acclaimed models will participate in the ramp. 54 bridal dresses will be showcased at the show. The show is a tribute to girl, child and her importance in the society. Verma de Mello has yet another show to her credit and this time it's the bridal show in Goa. She has designed 54 dresses with elegance and dedication. It took her more than six months to design the gowns and dresses. Her main highlight is on Girl Child. And I've themed my show this time, Celebration of Feminism. Every look is, is stressed upon their, um, that uh, women is a, is a jewel of humanity and that she should be treated as a princess as she looks in a assemble on the wedding day. This is also a reminder that there is a little girl in every woman. She should be given preference to leave. Top models of national and international stature will ramp her show. However, unlike other shows, Verma has given preference to a show starter than a show stopper. In all, we have about 54 garments for the show and all are wearable. Models have this misconception where they think that uh, selling yourself is what fashion is. The less you wear, the better it is and the more publicity you get. But that is the wrong idea. 
and I think Verma gives a different name to fashion in uh, Goa because her her clothes are elegant, you feel good in them, and at the same time, it's made for classy women who can carry themselves with poise and grace. The show will be held at Park Hyatt in ROC on 12 June from 6 p.m. onwards. Our video journalist Omkar Filari with Diksha Mashelkar. Bus sheds along the National Highway 17B are illegal. They have no permissions from National Highway Authority of India nor the PWD. NHI officials claim that they cannot take action as the land is not demarcated and handed over to them by the government of Goa, whereas PWD officials claim that the NOCs for the sheds are not renewed. But still the bus sheds are seen along the highway. You can see many such bus sheds along the National Highway from Kautali to Kankon. These are nothing but encroachments on government land. We spoke with the project director of the NH17B. He said that these bus sheds have no permission from NHAI. We have not permitted at all. Whatever is, I mean, these uh, structures, I mean, bus shelters exist all along from Varna to Varnapuri. These are all encroaches. They have not taken any permission from NHAI. When questioned as to why the action is not taken against these bus sheds, he replied in this way. See, uh, the main reason is that uh, demarcation of the land which has been acquired by state government, uh, that has not been demarcated and handed over to NHI. So, under such, uh, such uh, circumstances, it is very difficult for us to you know, uh, remove the encroachment which is already being cropped up and already cropped. Junior engineer of PWD Harish Tanwadi informed us that the NOCs for bus sheds have not been renewed. He also said that the department has asked the encroachers to remove sheds along the highway. The uh, shelters are, I think, uh, NOC 10 on uh, 2010, uh, July 2010 on the issue. Uh, the NOC is uh, not, uh, uh, not been renewed at this stage and they have been asked to remove all the uh, uh, bus shelters whichever, wherever they have installed. A reporter from Vasco, Surendra Madkaikar. Garbage treatment plant at Sada has become a threat for the labourers working under the shed. The whole shed is corroded. Labourers claim that it can collapse at any time. Now, municipality has assured to build a new shed soon. Have a look at this garbage treatment plant at Sada. The whole shed is corroded. The shed built 10 years back has no maintenance. Workers working under the shed fear that it may collapse at any time. Have a look. Worker demonstrated the height of corrosion. Sir, this shed has been made for 10 years. I've been working for 12 years. After 10 years, I've been making a shed. After making a shed, I've been making a shed. I've been making a shed for 2 times. 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 I've been making a shed for उसके लिए कोतरा की तरह टूटा है पूरा जंग खाया है शर्ट अभी बारिश में हवा आता है हवा की वजह से शर्ट गिर सकता है पूरा शर्ट हिलता है इधर पत्थर का आवाज आता है पत्थर टूट टूट के गिरता है हवा के लिए अभी उधर पूरा जंग खाया है देखिए आपको इधर भी दिखे इधर भी पूरा जंग खाया है तो कभी गिर सकता है पता नहीं हम लेबर लोग इधर काम करते रहता है वे मैट दी एक्टिंग चेयरपर्सन ऑफ मुर्गा म्यूनिसिपैलिटी कृष्णा सारकर ही सेड दैट द शेड विल बी रिपेयर्ड एंड अपग्रेडेड सून हमें गार्बेज प्लांट जे आसा साढ़े तीन कोट रुपया मोड़न आता तो अपग्रेड कर खीर लाइन हमें फंड सके रेडी आसा फ्त आता न्यू गवर्नमेंट आयो मे कोड ऑफ कंडक्ट भी लाइल उल्ले आता हम डी मिनिस्टर नेक्स्ट वीक चढ़ कर म्युनसिपाली हाथ लोन ते एप्रुवल घून काम स्टार्ट करते हाँ आता मुझे इंजिनियर थे धटा आशे डेंजर आसले जैर एक स्टॉप कर काम थे सद्या तरी जो पर रिपेर जाएना जो काम चालू आसना रिपेर जो रिपेर कर Our reporter from Murgao, Surendra Madkaikar. News from sports after a short break. Stay tuned.